<laughs> oh, what's up, Evan? No, Evan, you can't. What's up, Tedster? So, it's kind of funny that you two popped in first, because I'm actually gonna, just going to do a demo game between the Cubs and the White Sox, because you guys already had your rosters to me, and I already had them all in. So, I figured... Um, I just used the Cubs and the White Sox. And there you are, Tedster and Evan, the owners of the Cubs and the White Sox. <laughs> What's up, Joe? So it's going to take me a little bit of time to kind of get used to um, running everything. So um, that's kind of why I wanted to do this test run. So instead of having the dice tray where I'm dropping dice in, looking up stuff in the book, um, I created this app that uh, will do it all for us. Um, if anybody asks, I can't give away the app just because it's basically the game. And um, I wouldn't do that to... Uh, Keith, the guy that makes these games. So um, this will be for my use only or for our use as a community in this setting. So there we go. What's up, Carter? So we've got the Cubs visiting uh, U.S. Cellular Field in a little one-game uh, demo run here. Uh, David Bodie leaving off. We got Dylan Cease pitching for the White Sox. I have John Lester pitching for the Cubs. I just grabbed a couple pitchers to start out with. Um, both pitchers are fresh. You guys can't see that, but I have tokens down here uh, letting me know who is who. Um, so I have this all in a like very sturdy way so I don't have to keep moving stuff around. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we can go ahead and get started and see how this is going to run. So David Bodie will lead off against uh, Dylan Cease. And the top of the first, and what we're going to do is we're just going to roll here. And I don't know if I need sound effects or not. Um, so it's going to roll the three dice just like in the game. It's going to put them in order up here. So we got a 1-1-5, one, one, and then it's going to ask, is the pitcher fresh? He is because he just came in the game. So it's a pop-out two choice infielder. I'll say uh, pop-out two the second baseman done so that will be Bodie's at bat that'll bring up Javier Baez hey what's up Jack so and we'll do the same thing we will roll and of course that top die is the decider die it's a 50-50 die uh, so now we're asking is the pitcher an ace or a star um, you can see here that he is not. He's a semi-workman and a flash. So we move on to the next chart, which is asking, is the batter a sad sack? He is not. So we'll move on to the last one here. We got a single to left field for Javi Baez. Got a single to left. And safe at first. up at first so there we go single for Baez I'm just making a note to myself um, uh, what I'm gonna have is little little charts for each team that tell me what the fielders ratings are and their speed so I don't have to keep looking back and forth to the cards Um, Jack, I wish they would, but I think it's just going to be the win loss. Um, the reason being is there's no way apparently in OTP to, um, manually put in game data, which kind of stinks. I'm going to keep looking and see if maybe somebody's made a plugin or something that allows it. Um, but even if not, the entire playoffs are going to be played this way. S excuse me. So at least, um, that will all be done like this. But the stats and stuff will mostly be up to the simulation. 
<laughs> hit Bryant. <laughs> I don't think we're taking uh, no manager stuff today. <laughs> All right, so we got Chris Bryant up one out. We got Javi Baez on first. Um, Tedster said that he wants to steal with Baez at every opportunity. So we can look on our stolen base chart. So first thing we'll do is we roll the decider die to see if he gets a good jump. So we will roll that on a circle. He does get a good jump. Um, and Baez is, um, he is not considered fast, which is interesting. So he is a normal, so on second, or the catcher rating. Um, that's the other thing I need to put down. Oh, that will be on the thing. Um, your catcher is Grandal. He has a rating of just neutral. So on a one to four, um, he will steal the base. So we will roll one die. Oh, I guess I can actually show you that chart. Steal. So, first roll the decider die to see if the runner gets a jump. Stoic runners cannot. If yes, then roll a die for the table below. So, we will uh, roll. Um, I need a way to roll a single die when it's not a chart. Single die. We'll just use the red die in this roll here. So a four, so he did steal second base. Mm, stolen base. Oops. Second stolen base. There we go. Okay. Still getting used to this again. So now we will get rid of that. So now we have Chris Bryant up, runner on second, and one out. So we will pitch to Bryant. Um, is the pitcher a star? He is not. Is the batter a home run king? He's a semi home run king. And the decider die says no, not this time. So a fly out to left field. And that runner will hold up. And that will bring up Rizzo. And we will roll on Rizzo. So is the pitcher struggling? He is not. Is the batter a champion or patient? He is not. So we got some infield drama. Go to the infield drama. We will roll there. Second baseman, Iron. Let's see, who's your second baseman? Garcia, he is not. Otherwise, a routine ground out to second. Go to get some popcorn. All right, so, um, yeah, a few little things will run smoother when I have the little charts of, you know, um, <coughs> if the player, what the player's ratings are for fielding and stuff, this will all go much smoother, but I did not print those out yet. Actually don't have them finished up. So now we have uh, John Lester on the hill and we've got the... And I need to toggle the half inning. So we got at bat, we've got uh, Tim Anderson on the mound. We've got John Lester. And. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Tedster. Third out. So we will roll. Oops. I'm still on the infield drama chart. Pitcher chart. There we go. Roll. Uh, is the pitcher a flash? He is, so strikeout. And that'll bring up Lewis Robert. Um, make another note here. All right. 
Uh, so we got Lewis Robert up, and here's the pitch. Is the pitcher fresh? He is. So we got a line out to second base. And that will bring up Jose Abreu, who I should have done. They're not pitching. I should take that up like that. All right, that'll bring up Jose Abreu. Uh, nothing on the pitcher chart. Uh, is the batter a sad sack? He is not. Double to center field. Let's see what those little asterisks mean, because I don't remember. I don't think it's anything if no one's on base. If it's a sad sack or a home run king, then they strike out. So... He is a semi-home run king, and the decider die says he is a home run king, so he actually strikes out. He took a big hack and missed it. So not a double. That is, I'm actually going to add that to that text. What was that? 222? Two, two, two? I'm thinking that's something they added on later for like balance. Check Lester for pine tar. <laughs> All right, so that'll be the third out there. Cease is back on the mound. Hayward's up to bat. Oh, that was only, wait, oh, no, I didn't mark the out. Out. Strikeout swinging. All right, there we go. We got Jason Hayward up. Dylan Cease back on the mound, top of the second. That's fine, Evan. You have till uh, Saturday because I need to have all the lineups done and everything come Monday when we start. So, I like to go into Monday with everything set and then we can make changes after that. All right. We got uh, nothing on the pitcher chart. Is the batter a home run king? He is not. Fly out to center field. All right, that'll bring up, should not be Albert Amara Jr. That should be Schwarber. What happened to my lineup here? Oh, did I just forget to put him in there? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, I just forgot to put him in there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Billy. Uh, you all have relievers, Jason. You have a stack of them. <coughs> During the live games, hopefully you'll watch and tell me who to put in. Otherwise, um, I'll just take what's best. Um, there's no pitch count, but remember your... Um... Oops. Remember your uh, your pitchers stay fresh till the fifth, and then they turn semi fresh for the sixth, and then they lose their freshness in the seventh, unless they're pitching a shutout, um, and then they stay fresh till the seventh. All right, we got Amar Junior up. Uh, we got one out. We got a one, one, four. Is the pitcher fresh? He is ground out to shortstop. All 
All right, now I just have the order of these cards wrong. I didn't probably use your real lineup, Ted. I probably just stuck them in there. <laughs> uh, when did trades start? Uh, I guess you guys can talk amongst yourselves at any point um, for trades. All right, two down. We've got Ian Happ up. Is the pitcher wild? He is not. Is the batter eager? He is not. Ground out to second base. Uh, but yeah, Billy, I was thinking the same thing without all all-stars playing. Um, the games will play out a little bit differently. All right, that will bring up Eloy Jimenez. Uh, yeah, I gotta do something for work in a little bit. Okay. All right, here we go. So the pitch to Jimenez. We've got a 114. Is the pitcher fresh? He is. Oops. I didn't read that. I think it was a uh, ground out to second base, wasn't it? <laughs> I was thinking about something else. 114. Ground out to shortstop. And I may speed up this process too, since we don't really need all the hitting charts and stuff. Um, I can change this to where I don't have to put in so much info. I can just put in like out. Uh, the bottom dice are just showing you the same thing up here, Evan. Um, up here puts them in order because you always read them in uh, ascending order. The lowest die to the biggest die. So this is just where they're rolling randomly and then up here it puts them in order. Um, the color of the dice uh, matters for certain things, like which die is first. So that's why uh, I have it that way. It just keeps me from, one, it, it shows a little more randomness than just popping three numbers up here. Uh, and it just, I don't know, looks cooler, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got uh, John Lester, one out, pitching to Grundahl. Nothing on the pitcher chart. Is the batter a hero? He is not. Pop out to second base. Next one will be on the um, chemistry chart, which actually we won't use, or experience chart. That one we will use. Um, we will be using chemistry come um, real season. There's a whole book on whether your team is moody or sunny or stormy. Um, there's possible injuries that can occur before the game, stuff like that. Oh, so you haven't watched any of these, Evan? So there's normally this book. And when you roll, you read the die lowest to highest, like a 1-1-1. One, one, one. And then it asks, if the pitcher is an ace, you do this. If he's not, you move to the batter. If that's not true, you move to the fielder. Um, but that's what the dice determine is based on this book. I just put this whole book into this app to make it faster. That's all. Uh, pop out to second base. And we got Edwin Encarnacion up. He is going to roll on the chemistry chart or experience chart. So this just rolls two dice. Uh, is it a prospect batter? It is not. Anxious swing. Oh, otherwise a bloop single. So we got our first hit of the game, our second hit of the game. In play, single, little blooper right there. And then that goes away. We got Jan Moncada up. No, not necessarily, Evan. Not necessarily. Um, 
the uh, the way the whole thing is designed is based on the odds of stuff happening. So, um, you know, dice to start with a one is the best odds. Um, dice to start with a six is kind of lower odds. Or actually that end in, I don't know. There's there's more options in ones than there are in twos than there are in threes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the way the whole game was made, it takes all that into consideration. All right, John Lester now pitching two. Yohan Moncada with a runner on first. Uh, is is he pitching at home? He is not. Is the batter a slugger? He is not. Single to right field. If he's active, he steals. He is not active. All right, so this is where this top part will come in to play. So, um, and this is determined uh, by the, the first die, if it's a two, a three, or a four. So single to right field. We're going to go on the right now chart next. Um, active runners on third scores on flies. Others hold. It's not the case. Runners advance one base on singles. Two bases on doubles. Active runners score from first on a doubles. On doubles and from second on any hit. Um, oh, two bases on off. It's a double. It's not a double. So one base on a single. So everyone just advances one base. Uh, so single to right field. In play single. To right field. Um, he is safe at second and held up. Well, he's safe at first and held up. Hey, what's up, El Wabo? Good seeing you, bud. All right, so now we're going to roll on the right now chart for Yoan or for Nomar Mazara, who is up to bat. The right now chart is another two die chart. Um, is the pitcher hot? He is not hot. So in order for a pitcher to be hot, um, he's semi-hot if he does, just struck somebody out. If it's after the fifth inning, he's hot if he just struck somebody out. Um, otherwise, the pitch misses driven into right field for a base hit. So we've got another hit. Runners advance one base on singles, two bases on doubles. I feel like there's more to that that we're not seeing. Nope. Oh, uh, active runner score from first on doubles and from second on any hit. So is Encarnacion, he is not an active runner. So he won't score. So if it was a, just to give you an example, if it was a one, um, any runner would score from second on any hit if there's two outs. But because it's a two, um, that's not the case. So we have just got bases loaded. Mm, right field for hit. So he held up, he held up, and he held up. Um, no, but I can tell you. Uh, so basically the way it works is um, I don't have my charts with me. Um, but they have a whole system where you can make your own players, which is what I've used in the past. Um, but basically, um, if you're a slugger, it's like having gap power. Um, if you're a home run king, typically you have more home runs than doubles. Um, if you have a bunch of both, you can have both. But typically, um, you're either a home run king or a slugger. Um if you have more home runs and doubles, then you're a home run king. If you have more doubles and home runs, then you're a slugger. Um, same thing goes with um, being a champion or a hero. That's based on batting average. Um, if you're eager, um, I don't remember what eager is dependent on. Um, Whiffer depends on strikeouts. Eager may be, or maybe eager or good eye are the two. And I don't know. I'll have to, I can explain it better if you guys want, but. Um, I can show it to you. I just didn't bring it in here with me today. All right, so we got bases loaded. 
Hey, what's up, baseball demos? Thank you. So yeah, I wish I'd brought my uh, my chart. I can go get them if you guys really want to know. Um, but since I'm using Travis's set for this, um, I really didn't have to make the card, so I didn't have to dig into it as much as I've had to in the past. Uh, so we got bases loaded. Uh, Lester is in a little bit of a trouble. Three runners in a row have gotten on, so that makes him um, semi-struggling right now. So that is not good for him. And we've got, uh, let's see, that was Manzara that got the hit. So we got Garcia up to bat. Let's see what happens. Is the pitcher a star? He is not. Is the batter sad sack utility or patient? He is none of the above. Single to right field. Um, he won't be stealing because his base is loaded. Uh, but we've got a four, so uh, runners advance, well, let's see, runners advance two bases on singles and score on doubles. Stoic runners on first, advance only to second base on any single, third base on any double except with two outs. So who's on first? Zara is semi-stoic, so we'll use our decider die for this. So we'll say he is stoic, um, but there's two outs, so it doesn't really matter. Everyone is going to advance two bases. Uh, Stoic runners on first base advance. Oh, that's for doubles. Runners advance two bases on singles, period. Okay. So, uh, single to right. In play, single to right field. Um, he is safe at home. Advanced by the batter. He is safe at home. Advanced by the batter. He is safe at third. Advanced by the batter. And he is safe at first. Held up. I think I got all that right. So, the White Sox take a quick 2-0 lead. Um, Lester is full-on struggling now. It's only the second inning, so they're going to stick with him. And that will bring up the top of the lineup with Tim Anderson. So let's roll on the pitcher chart. 126 is the pitcher fresh. He is still fresh, so a line out to second base. And the damage is done. Dylan Cease will come back on the mound. Wilson Contreras will be up to bat, heading into the. Oh, oops, I forgot to change that last time. Into the bottom of the second, third, top of third, top of third. So here we go. Is the pitcher a workman? He's semi-workman. Decider die says no. He's not a workman. Is the batter patient? He is not. Ground out to first base. <laughs> I hope so, Billy. You get a lot of these little bit of these kinks worked out. That's why I wanted to do this test run. All right, that'll bring up Schwarber. Is the pitcher fresh? He is. Another line out to second base. Second baseman is getting some action today. Now I'll go to the top of the lineup. With David Bodie. Uh, hold on, real quick, guys. I gotta check on some work stuff. Um, I need to log into work real quick and take care of something. You guys, give me one sec.
This won't take me long. How's everybody doing? Oops, that's not what I wanted. You guys got any other questions? Hey, what's up, Donald? I have not been back on Facebook today to see if you messaged me back, Donald. Okay. That's done. Back to the fun. All right. All right, El Wapo, later, bud. All right, where are we at? We got David Bodie up. We got two outs. Is the pitcher workman or gilded? He is a semi-workman. Decided I says no. Is the batter a whiffer? He is. So a strikeout. And we will toggle the half inning. Lester will come back out. We'll have Luis Robert up to bat. And we'll keep on rolling. No pun intended. Uh, is the pitcher a workman? He is not. Oh, wait. He is. So a single to left field. Semi-active. Okay. Abreu up to bat now. Does the pitcher have control? Semi-control, decided I says yes. So a ground out to shortstop. Double play on ground outs. So uh, um, is double play one of the options? I think it's after this. Out on double play. There we go. What's up, Brad? Uh, can you put the black description uh, up here, you mean? Yeah. I'm not sure if it'll be easier to read, but I can try it. I can't do it right now, but when I update the app, I will do that. Um, what I might do is put a, like a white box behind it, like this, so it's easier to read, and then just make that box go away afterwards. That might be a little bit better. Okay, so we got uh, Jimenez up with two outs. Lester's having a nice ground ball. Quick inning, maybe. Uh, batter hit by pitch. See below. 
Sutter die determines if the batter is hit by the pitch. Sutter die is off. If not, continue to 226 batter column and then to the fielder column if appropriate. So he was not almost hit by the pitch, but it missed him. Is it the cleanup batter? Eloy Jimenez is indeed the cleanup batter. So a home run to right field. So Eloy gets a hold of one. It's an opposite field shot. Giving the White Sox a 3-0 lead. So Lester started with a quick inning. And that'll bring up Grandal. Ace or dynamic. Neither for the pitcher. Is the batter a slugger? He is not. Single to center field. Again with the asterisk. So it's going to be the same asterisk. Home run king, oh, uh, sad sack or home run king strike out. Um, he is a semi home run king with the decider die says he does strike out. Indeed. Again, took a big whiff and missed it. <laughs> so my big struggle right now is having... I actually have the scoring app on this screen, my screen on the right, and then I have the app with all the game stuff on the right. But if I move the scoring app over there, it covers up some stuff that I need to use. So I'm not quite sure how to handle this, um, besides just keep looking back and forth. <laughs> Anyways, we are in the top of... Uh, let's see. We got Baez up. We are in the top of the fourth. Cubs are at bat. Uh, I think there's three left, Donald. The Phillies, which are probably the best team left. I think the Marlins, which are the worst. And then the Pirates, um, sort of lower tier. Later, Brad. Uh, so here we go with Dylan Cease pitching to Javi Baez. Nothing on the pitcher chart. Is it a pinch hitter? It is not. Fly out to center field. Next up we have Chris Bryant. Is the pitcher an ace? He is not. See, this is one that would have come up like every time when we were playing with the All-Stars. Is the batter a sad sack? He is not. Double to right field if he's active, which he's not steal. So a double to right field. Put it in the gap out there. And Bryant is at second base with a double. That will bring up Anthony Rizzo. Is the pitcher fresh? He is. Pop up to the infield. So we'll see a pop up out here in foul ground to the third baseman. And he will hold up second. So we've got two outs and Jason Hayward coming up. Does the pitcher have control? He does not. Um, is the batter eager or a sad sack? He is not. So a base on ball. If he's active, he steals. He is not. So just a walk for Hayward. That'll bring up Albert Amara Jr. with two runners on and two outs. Is the pitcher an ace or a star? He is not. Is the batter a slugger? He's a semi-slugger. Decider die says no, not this time. Fly out to center field. So a few, few close calls on home runs for Tedster for the Cubbies. But just that 50-50 not rolling your way today so far. So that will bring up, oops, We'll bring up Edward Encarnacion. This will be Lester's last inning of freshness. 
as we go into the uh, actually no he'll have one more yeah all right so we've got uh Encarnacion versus Lester here's the pitch is the pitcher a struggler or gilded he is not is the batter a champion he is not so a ground out to second base that'll bring up Moncada Is there a runner on base? There is not. So no plate drama. Hot batter? Fence. All right. Moncada last at bat um, had a single. Um, let me look at my chart. What makes a batter hot? Uh, a batter is considered semi-hot hot if he had a hit in his last at bat. So... Um, it's before the fifth, so it's going to depend on the decider die. The decider die says no, he is not hot. So we don't get to go to the fence mini chart, which is a bummer because that would have been fun. Uh, so I'll pop out to third base. Hey, welcome back, Joe. Um, all right, so that will bring up uh, Manzara. No runners on. We got two outs. Um, is the pitcher ace or dynamic? He is not. Is the batter a slugger? He is not. Single to center field unless he is a home run king. If he is a home run king, the Saturday says uh, he is not a home run king this time. So a single to center field. That will bring up Garcia with two outs, a runner on first. Is the pitcher struggling? He is not. No batter in her. Ground out to first base or third base. So switch hitter, he would be batting right. So we'll say a ground out to third. And he just flipped it over to second for the easy out. All right, that will bring up the top of the fifth. Last inning of freshness for the pitchers here. We got Dylan Cease versus Ian Happ. Is the pitcher a workman or gilded? He's a semi-workman. The Saturday says yes. So a single to left field. We'll be doing an experience check. Um, that was supposed to pop up on this side huh do I have that wrong on all of them <laughs> so the Cubs are at bat so I need to fix that I guess it doesn't matter where it, where it pops up, but so we know we do it. Yeah, I guess I could actually make it just pop up around the dice because it doesn't matter which character it's on. Huh, okay, anyways. Chatting with myself. Um, so single to left. That will bring up that was Ian Happ, right? That'll bring up Contreras. We've got no out, so a runner on first. This will be on the experience chart. We'll roll two dice. Is it an icon pitcher? It is not. Infield drama. All right, let's get rid of this. Let's go to some infield drama. 
We'll roll some infield drama. Is the shortstop iron? Um, who's your shortstop, Evan? Tim Anderson. He's semi iron. Ooh, the decider die says he is iron. Misplays a hot grounder into left field for a single. Uh, normally we'd roll in the chemistry check here, but we're not doing chemistry in this round. So, uh, yeah, so Boots went into left field for it, but they're calling it a single. So there we go. I'll bring up Schwarber with two on. No out. Does the pitcher have control? He does not. Is the batter eager or sad sack? He is not. Base on balls. If he's active, he steals. He can't steal anyway, so... Cease losing it a little bit here. That is the third runner to get on in a row, so he will be semi-struggling. So we got bases loaded, nobody out, top of the lineup, and David Bodie coming up. Let's see what Dylan Cease can do to get out of this. Two four six. Does the pitcher have control? He does not. Eager or sad sack? They are not. It's the same role. Another base on balls. He's losing it. Dylan sees struggling. That brings up Javi Baez with the bases juiced. Let's see what happens. Is the pitcher fresh? Uh, we are in the fifth, so. Yes, he's still fresh. So a line out to second base. Uh, not for this, Evan. I'll just make the call. This isn't a real game between you guys. <laughs> but normally, yes. You can make a mound visit if you wanted. Wouldn't really do anything. I mean, you could change pitchers. Um, so... I'm trying to think if on the fifth inning, if they go semi-fresh or if they're fresh through five and then it changes. I didn't bring my manual out here with me. Um, I want to say after the fifth, it changes to semi and then the seventh, it's off. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So line out to second base. So he hit it hard, but right at somebody. That'll bring up Chris Bryant with one out and the base is loaded. Does the pitcher have control? He does not. Oh, he's not a semi-struggler anymore. Is the batter eager? He is not. Another walk. Holy moly. Walk in the world. Dylan Cease has let the Cubs right back into this game with three walks in the inning. See if he can get out of this. We can give him one more batter. Anthony Rizzo comes up. <laughs> Hit by pitch. 2-2-6. Two, two, uh, decided I determines it. So he was hit by the pitch. So in play, hmm, I don't see hit by pitch. I just see, oh, there it's hit by pitch. Goodness. It's tied the game right back up. Dylan sees getting the hook. Let's see. White Sox are going to bring in. Who's up to bat? Jason Hayward, left-handed. Bring in uh, Gio Gonzalez to face the lefty. 
Now he does have to face three batters, but there's one out. Try to get a double play here. Gio Gonzalez comes in. He is fresh. He is an ace for one batter. Um, yeah. So let's see what happens against Hayward. Nothing on the pitch chart. Is the batter patient? He is not. Fly out to center field. We do a chemistry check, but we don't need to. All right, fly out to center field. Uh, runner on third scores on a fly out. Runners advance two bases on singles. All right, so he will tag up and score. So out, fly out to center. Uh, the runner on third goes home. Advanced by the batter. Held up. Held up. So sack fly from Jason Hayward gives the Cubs the lead. Geo is no longer an ace. And we got two outs, and that will bring up um, Amara Jr. Is the pitcher fresh? He is. So a ground out to shortstop will end the inning. Good comeback for the Cubs. John Lester has a new life. Gio will now be semi-fresh. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. John Lester is still fresh. Garcia is up to bat. No, he ended the inning. Tim Anderson is back up. All right. So, at bat... Here we go. Maybe make these a little more prominent down here, too. Uh, is the pitcher a flash? He is. So he got a strikeout. Good way to come right out throwing strikes. That'll bring up Luis Robert. Is the pitcher wild? He isn't. Does the batter have a good eye? He does not. Strikeout. And then we'll go on the right now chart. With a strikeout. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Lester. We're going on the right now chart. With Jose Abreu up to bat. Is it a hot batter? 0 for 2 with a K. It is not. Otherwise, fly out to left field. So good bounce back inning for Lester there. Um, he will now be semi-fresh. He comes back out. And Ian Happ's up to bat. Four, five, six, nothing on the pitcher chart. Um, is the batter patient? He's not. Fly out to center field. Chemistry check, which we won't do. That'll bring up Wilson Contreras. Um, same one, eager. He is not. Oh, that's a different one. Base on balls. Um, if he's an active runner, he steals. He is not. So another. The heck did I just hit? Oh. Did something weird. All right. So that will bring up Schwarber with a runner on first. One, two, five. Is the pitcher struggling? He is not. Is the batter patient? He's semi-patient. Decider die says yes, he is patient. Another walk. Man, White Sox need to get their pitching in order. And that'll bring up David Bodie with two runners on, one out. 
Is the pitcher wild? He is not. Is the batter slugger or utility? He is a slugger. Line out to shortstop. And we'll bring up Javi Baez, one for three with a single. A line out and a fly out. Does the pitcher have control? He's semi controlled. The Saturday die says yes. So a ground out to shortstop. All right, Lester's back on the mound. Gio Gonzalez will no longer be fresh. As we move into the bottom. Oops, I forgot. I keep forgetting to switch that. Oh, no. Boop. No, there we go. <laughs> All right. Going to the bottom of the sixth. It's got a close game. Um, Lester is semi-fresh. Rolling against Jimenez. Um, is it an iron catcher? If it is, it's a base on balls. I don't believe Contreras is iron. No. So not an iron catcher. Does the batter have a good eye? He does not. Strikeout. We'll go on the right now chart next. That'll bring up a Grandal. On the right now, check. Is it a hot batter? Grandal over two. It is not. Liner down, baseline fielded by the first baseman. A line out. So an amazing catch by Rizzo, doing his thing, diving stab down the line, snagging that line drive. And Edwin Encarnacion will come up to the bat. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Is utility or sad sack? He is semi-utility. The Saturday says no. Triple in the gap. Star, star, star. If, it's a home, if he's a home run king, he hits a home run. He is a home run king. So a solo home run by Edwin Encarnacion to tie up the game. We got a 4 4 tie in the bottom of the sixth. We got two out. Lester's going to try to get through this inning. We got Moncada up to bat. Batter hit by pitch. The Saturday says he was hit by the pitch. Maybe Lester a little payback for all uh, their player that got hit earlier in the game. Who knows? Um, that will bring up Mazzara. Is the catcher iron? He is not. Um, does the batter have a good eye? He does not. Strikeout. He'll go on the right now chart. Um, which does carry over to the next inning, by the way. All right, so Lester will no longer be fresh. And we've got Chris Bryant coming up against Gio Gonzalez. Um, let's see, we are into the top of the seventh. Uh, I'll leave, leave Gio out there for another inning. See how it goes. Hi, Tori. Just goofing off, Tori, doing a little test run. All right, Chris Bryant is up. Facing Gio Gonzalez, tie game, bottom of the top of the seventh. Is the pitcher an ace? He's not. Is the batter a champion? He's not. Ground out to shortstop. That'll bring up Rizzo. Made a great diving catch in the last inning. Oops, I was supposed to roll on the right now chart. Oh well, we'll ignore that. Ace or a star pitcher? No. 
It's about a slugger. Semi slugger to Saturday says no. Just missed another one, Tedster. Fly out to center field. Two outs, Jason Hayward steps up. Is the pitcher wild? He's not. Is the batter slugger or utility? He is a semi-slugger to Saturday, says no. Single to left field. A little opposite field shot there for Hayward. That'll bring up Amara Jr. with two outs. Runner on first. Is the pitcher fresh? He is not. Is the batter a utility or a sad sack? He is not. Single to left field. Um, runners advance one base on hits. All right, two runners on, two outs. We got Ian Happ up to bat. Does the pitcher have control? Semi-control, the cider die says yes. The pitch was red, a single to left field. Runners advance two bases on singles and score on doubles. Um, and there's two outs, so even stoic runners will. Oh, we don't have a double. Uh, runners advance two bases on singles. All right, so... Single to left. Put it kind of out there. Single to left. He will score. He will go to third. And he will hold up at first. Hey, what's up, G-dubs? So, Hayward gives a... Or Ian Happ gives the Cubs a 5-4 lead here in the top of the seventh. We got two runners on. Uh, we've got uh, Wilson Contreras at bat. White Sox are going to make a pitching change. We are in the seventh. They're going to bring in. Who's up to bat? Contreras. They'll bring in Jimmy Cordero. Jimmy Cordero, and he's going to be an ace coming in. Um, there's this new ability, Terse, which I don't remember offhand what it means. I just read it the other day, but I'm going to read it again. Uh, terse. Starting pitchers with the projected innings pitched uh, less than 5.3 get the Terse quality. They are allowed to pitch three innings fresh, but only two innings semi-fresh. However, a terse starting pitcher can pitch into later innings using the shutout freshness rule. Relievers with a projected less than 1.3 innings pitch per game get the terse quality. They are allowed to pitch one inning fresh, but that's it. They lose all freshness. So he comes in fresh, but he won't become semi-fresh. That's what the terse, new terse quality means. So he's coming in ace. He's coming in fresh. Trying to shut this thing down right here. Pitching to Contreras. Two runners on. We got two outs. Nothing on the pitcher chart. Is the batter patient? He is not. Fly out to center field to end the inning. He's no longer fresh. So let's see. Lester's going to give way to, I don't know. I don't know other teams' pitchings very well. Um, how about Jeremy Jeffress will come in a little earlier than usual, maybe? Um, he won't come in ace because he's coming in the start of an inning, but he'll come in fresh. He has terse, so that freshness will go away. And we got Garcia up to bat. We are in the bottom of the seventh. 
Cubs leading five to four. Does the pitcher have control? Semi control. Decider die says yes. So a ground out to the pitcher. We go back to the beginning of the lineup with Tim Anderson. It's 0 for 3 today. Looking to get something going here. Does the pitcher have flash? He does. Strikeout. That'll bring up Luis Robert. 1 for 3. Nothing on the pitcher chart. Is the batter eager? He is. Fly out to center field. That will do it for the White Sox. Quick inning there in the bottom of the seventh. So Jeffress will lose his freshness. Uh, Jimmy Cordero will come back out on the mound. Uh, let's see. We are in the eighth. Let's go ahead and change pitchers again. Um, I don't remember who your setup man is. Um, I like uh, Steve Ciszek is going to come in to pitch. He will come in fresh. All right, here we go. We are in. Let me make sure I got everything set up here. Top of the eighth. Um, Cubs are up to bat. We got Kyle Schwarber up to plate. We got Steve Ciszek coming in to pitch. Uh, what'd you ask, Tori? Here is the pitch. Is the pitcher is the pitcher a flash? He is a strikeout. That'll bring us to the top of the lineup. David Bodie, 0 for 3. Is the pitcher fresh? He is ground out to short. All right, we got two down. Javi Baez up. He's one for four. Nothing on the pitcher chart. Is it the leadoff batter? It is not. Fly out to right field. All right, we will head into the bottom of the eighth. Uh, Jeremy Jeffers is going to come in, pitch two innings today. He's not fresh at all anymore. Uh, we have Abreu up to bat. We have, how does the game determine characteristics for these youngins? They have no or little MLB experience. You know, I'm not sure how Travis uh, determined that. Um, for this card set. Um, I think maybe he used fan graphs for a lot of it. So um, maybe a combination of minor league stats. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you, Tori. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing is the players will progress in um, out of the park. Um, they'll get better. Um, so I'm thinking like once a week maybe I'll see if there's any progression. Um on the younger players and just uh, adjust their cards if I need be. Um, or maybe do it like once halfway through the season and then once right before the playoffs. I might do that instead. Like halfway through the season at the all-star break, we can readjust. And then right before the playoffs, we can readjust again if they got like way better. Because I think that only makes sense. Um, okay, Abreu's up, Jeffress on the mound, bottom of the eighth. White Sox are at bat. Here we go. Um, is pitcher a flash? He is, so a strikeout. That'll bring up Jimenez. Pitcher struggling, no. Champion or patient hitter, no. Infield drama. Is 
is the third baseman gold. Um, let's see. I don't think Chris Bryant's gold. Nope. Uh, otherwise, a base hit. So in play, we got a single past the third baseman. So Jimenez is on first. We've got Grindal up to bat. Ace or star pitcher, no. Sad sack batter, no. Single to left field. Uh, field in and ground. Runners advance two bases on any hit. All right. So it must have been a, let's see. In play, single. We'll kind of put it down the line down here. Uh, he gets the third. He gets the first. So second and third. We got one out. We got Edwin Encarnacion coming to bat. I'm going to leave Jeffress in there. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get a double play ball right here. A 4-4-4, four, 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 nothing on the pitcher chart. Is the batter a scrapper? He is not. A double to right field. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, did he just go yard again? Triple asterisk. If he's a home run king, he hits a home run. He is Edwin Encarnacion again with a big home run. Giving the White Sox a 7-5 lead. Ouch. Jeffers just shakes his head. And that'll bring up Moncada. Nothing there. Is the batter a whiffer? He is. So we've got a strikeout. That'll bring up Mazzara. One five five, nothing there. Is it batter a home run king? He is. The cider die says he's semi. Cider die says he is a home run king. So another home run to center field this time. Man, that just got away from the Cubs quick. Let's see if we can get the number nine batter out. Is the pitcher fresh? He is not. Is the batter a home run king or a sad sack? He's not. A double to left field. All right, I think that's going to be it for Jeffress. Cubs will go ahead and bring in... Uh, going to go ahead and bring in Kimbrell a little bit early. He's going to come in as fresh and as an ace for this one batter. Um, he's facing Tim Anderson. Nothing there. Nothing on the batter. Unusual result. Ooh. I don't remember how to do that. <laughs> uh, unusual result is... What is that? It's a one three five. Unusual result. Didn't we run into this last time and I was trying to figure out what to do and then I looked in the book and then it told me. I think we used the Is it the red dies number one? Yeah, red's one, black is three. Memorable plays in the field. So we're going to roll two dice. I don't have these charts on here. Um, so I'll just use... I didn't want to put all the charts in here. Um, I'll use the team chemistry roll. So don't worry about the result says. It's just going to be what the dice say. So four or five... Is the left fielder gold? 
Who's the left fielder for the Cubs? Schwarber. No, he is definitely not gold. Uh, four, five. Make uh, otherwise a double. Man, he could have made a great play, but instead it's a double. I can just see Schwarber going back on a ball and... He trips and falls and it goes over his head. <laughs> All right, that will bring up Luis Robert. Is the iron catcher? It's not. We already know that. Um, does the batter have a good eye? He does not. Strike out. And then we will roll on the right and now chart. So strike out swinging. And that will end the inning. We come into the top of the ninth. Everything went wrong for the Cubs that inning. The White Sox will bring in their closer. Is it Cuthbert? Cuthbert card says closer. So, um... I'll bring on Colomay. Colomay's going to come in and pitch. Oh, there you go, Evan. All right, so he's coming and starting the inning. He'll be fresh. Um, he has flash, semi-control, and terse. He will face Chris Bryant on the right now chart. Chris Bryant is one for three. Fly out a double and a walk. So we're going to go to the right now chart. Is it a hot pitcher? It is not because he just came into the game. Otherwise, a grounder to the pitcher with the only play at first base. So a weak start to the ninth. That'll bring up Rizzo. Nothing there. Is the batter a home run king? He is a semi-home run king. Decided I says yes. So Rizzo gets into one. Drives one deep to center field. Giving the Cubs a little bit of hope. That'll bring up Hayward. Oops. Is it a gold catcher? We already know it's not. He a batter a champion. He is not. Outfield drama. Uh-oh. Roll on the outfield drama. Is the left fielder gold? Let's see. Who's your left fielder? Jimenez. No. Looping fly ball drops in the gap for a double. We got a ast single asterisk. Uh, it's about a scrapper. He's not. All right. So uh, drops in the gap for a double. It's a little blooper in the gap. So there we go. We've got Hayward on second. We got Amara Jr. up to bat. Is the pitcher a struggler? No. Nothing on the batter. A ground out to first base or third base. Um, let's just let the decider die determine. Um, dot is first. Um, no dot is third. So no dot to third base, so the runner will hold. All right, that will bring up Ian Happ with two outs. Last chance here. Nothing on the pitcher. Is the batter a hero? He is not. Not today. Pop out to second and base will end the game. Uh, 
And that did it. A little over an hour. I think we can shave that down a bit without me having to look stuff up and get those other charts done. So, yeah. That went fairly smooth, I think. I think so. I think that'll work out well. Um, what's the what plan, Tori? I guess I should probably figure out something for dinner for the family. Um, I don't think the plan has changed. I think uh, it all worked out fine. Um, stick to it. This was more just a practice run, kind of see how long the game was going to take, um, what little things I needed to fix to go a little bit smoother in the app, um, which I made some notes here. Uh, uh, yeah, so that was really the goal for today. I think we're still good to start on Monday. Um, as soon as I get everyone's lineups and stuff inputted, it's taken me a while because I have to go into out of the park and um, send players down and bring players up and make them match uh, the 26-man rosters we have from this card set. So I have to do some adjusting in there. Um, so, you know, it takes 15, 20 minutes for each team for me to go in there and put in the lineups and uh, adjust the pitching rotations and all that. Um, so I should have that done. Um, hopefully and get the schedule finished up on by Sunday and then we will start our first uh, hopefully do uh, maybe two games on Monday um, we'll see um, we will see I don't know a time yet Donald I'll uh, I'll send an email to everybody in the league um, so you know what time to be there uh, yeah so that's all I got guys I appreciate you popping in and helping me um, test test some things out and give me some feedback um looks like it's running okay so yeah appreciate it guys um i'll see if i can figure out a way to get games inputted into out of the park um but i'm not sure it will be possible but we'll figure out something um yeah all right Good night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow night for a whole lot of this. Whole lot of this tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. All right. Good night, everybody.